While the rest of the auto industry races toward an all-electric future, Toyota has chosen a different path, one that feels almost like a dream come true. Instead of following the crowd, Toyota's engineers dared to ask a bigger question. What if electric cars aren't the only answer to a sustainable future? The result is a revolutionary new engine that has stunned the EV market and sparked hope for drivers everywhere. But why is Toyota resisting the EV trend when so many other automakers are fully committed? Could it be that Toyota knows something the rest of the industry doesn't? Join us as we uncover the incredible details behind Toyota's bold strategy and why it might just change the future of driving forever. For the past decade, the narrative has been crystal clear. Electric vehicles are the future, and gas engines are on their way out. Tesla went from being a quirky startup in Silicon Valley to one of the most valuable car companies on Earth. Ford and GM promised billions in investments toward electrification. Countries like the UK and France set deadlines for banning the sale of new gas-powered cars. Everywhere you looked, the writing seemed to be on the wall. Batteries are in, engines are out. And yet, standing quietly in the corner was Toyota. The world's largest car maker wasn't rushing headfirst into the EV wave like everyone else. Instead, Toyota was skeptical, almost cautious. This shouldn't come as a surprise if you know their history. Remember the Prius. Back in the late 90s, Toyota introduced the hybrid, and people mocked it at first. But then it became a global hit, selling millions and sparking an entirely new category of vehicles. Toyota has always preferred a practical, step-by-step -step approach instead of chasing the latest hype. And now, they believe they've found an alternative that could not only compete with EVS, but potentially turn the whole game upside down. So, what exactly is this new technology? Toyota recently revealed their next-generation carbon-neutral internal combustion engine. At first glance, it looks like a regular engine with pistons, cylinders, and spark plugs. But this is no ordinary gas guzzler. Instead of running on traditional gasoline, it's designed to run on hydrogen and synthetic e-fuels. These fuels are far cleaner than regular gas, and in some cases can be nearly carbon neutral. In other words, this engine could give drivers the familiar performance of a gas car, the quick refueling we're all used to, and the long range people want, without the harmful emissions. That's huge. Think about the biggest complaints about EVS. The charging process can take half an hour or longer at a fast charger, or all night if you're charging at home. Battery packs add thousands of dollars to the cost of a car, and replacing one down the line can be insanely expensive. And then there's the issue of raw materials. Mining lithium, cobalt, and nickel is messy, expensive, and tied to complicated global supply chains. For the US, a country that likes to drive big trucks and take long road trips, EV adoption faces real challenges. Now imagine an engine that refuels in five minutes, drives hundreds of miles, and produces almost no harmful emissions. Imagine not needing a giant charging network on every corner, or massive batteries that weigh as much as a small cow. That's the dream Toyota is betting on. But here's the interesting twist. This isn't just about convenience. It's also about economics and geopolitics. EVS rely heavily on rare earth materials, most of which come from overseas. Hydrogen, on the other hand, can be produced domestically. Using renewable electricity, the US could generate its own clean hydrogen fuel right here at home creating energy independence while avoiding the messy politics of overseas mining. Toyota's CEO believes this could give nations more control over their future while making cars cheaper to build and maintain. Now, does this mean EVS are doomed overnight? Not exactly. Toyota's vision comes with big challenges. Hydrogen fueling infrastructure is practically non-existent outside of California. 
building a nationwide network of hydrogen stations would cost billions of dollars and take years. And right now, producing green hydrogen is expensive, far more costly than plugging in an EV at home. Critics argue that EV technology is improving so fast that by the time Toyota scales hydrogen, batteries will already be cheaper, faster to charge, and more environmentally friendly than they are today. Still, Toyota's move is shaking up the conversation. For years, EV supporters said the future was decided, that it was only a matter of time before engines went extinct. But history shows that things aren't always so simple. Remember when everyone said hybrids would flop? The Prius proved them wrong. Remember when everyone said diesel cars were efficient and clean? That myth collapsed. The auto industry is full of twists and turns, and Toyota's new engine could be the next big plot twist. What makes this even more exciting is the larger industry battle forming. On one side, you've got Elon Musk and Tesla, along with Ford, GM, Volkswagen, and others, all in on EVS. They're betting that batteries are the future, and they're investing billions to make that vision real. On the other side, you've got Toyota saying, hold on, we're not ready to bury the engine just yet. And then you have companies like Porsche experimenting with synthetic fuels that could make even traditional gas engines nearly carbon neutral. If that takes off, the beloved V8 muscle car might roar on for decades to come without wrecking the environment. For everyday Americans, this battle means more choice. Imagine walking into a dealership five years from now and being offered three different paths, a fully electric car, a hybrid, or a hydrogen-powered engine that feels just like the gas cars you grew up with but runs clean. That's competition. That's innovation. And most importantly, it means consumers won't be forced into one box before the technology and infrastructure are truly ready. So, could Toyota's new engine really destroy the EV industry? Maybe destroy is a strong word, but it could definitely disrupt it. EVS won't disappear. They'll keep improving, charging networks will keep growing, and many people will embrace them. But engines might not die the quick death everyone predicted. Instead, we might see a world where EVS and engines coexist, each serving different needs, different lifestyles, and different regions. The bottom line is this. The future of cars isn't as straightforward as we've been told. And if Toyota's CEO is right, the battle is just beginning. Now, I've got to ask, what do you think? Would you buy a hydrogen-powered Toyota over a Tesla? Do you think engines still have a future? Or is this just Toyota clinging to the past? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Because whether it's powered by batteries, engines, or something we haven't even invented yet, one thing's for sure, the fight for the future of cars is far from over.